You know, people say, oh, look how poor someone is. All they have is money. And that's bullshit and you know it, okay? Anyone who needs money right now can back us up. We humans want money for three distinct reasons. One, to stop the pain we can eliminate through money. Two, to maximize our well-being and enjoyment. This includes your loved ones as well. And three, to get the respect of others. You might not like how that sounds, but it is the truth. Everything we do is about getting the approval of other people, of them seeing us and acknowledging us. We're hardwired that way. We've already made detailed videos about the first two, so if the respect or envy of other people is what you're after, this one's for you. Here are 15 things that impress other people more than money. Welcome to Alux, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Let's start off with a spicy one, how hot your partner is. That's what they notice from a distance. Coming up close, what they really care about is how loyal your partner is. But loyalty would have made for a much weaker subtitle. If they're hot, if they're loyal, if they're trustworthy, if they're smart, they're a valuable human being and humans are drawn to what we consider valuable. If they're with you, they must be here for a reason, so props to you. Something to keep in mind, whenever you hear someone say, you're a lucky man, just know it means I would sleep with your wife if ever given the opportunity. And that's why over 4 million people subscribe to the channel because it's only gonna get better from here. Social dominance, winning hearts and arguments. You can hold your own with anyone. Public takedowns, wittiness, being able to think fast, to make everyone laugh, especially if done in an elegant way, are all superpowers in a world dominated by insecurity and introversion. Charisma is an unfair advantage that immediately puts you high up on the social hierarchy. People know not to mess with you because you're able to throw it back. They see you as cool. They want to be around you. Others want to be associated with you because they want to be more like you. That is why you fangirl over badass characters on TV shows. The way they interact and dominate social settings is what makes you fall in love with them. Cooking, being funny, and being able to have fun. As humans, we're impressed by what we don't have and what we want. There's power in being able to feed your loved ones. There's an intimacy to it, mixed with a real skill. It's a love language and an art, and there aren't that many artists left. If you've been in social groups, there's always one person who has the power to fully change the vibe and turn a night around. Without laughter, all you're left with is misery. There's power in being able to lighten the mood of everyone else, and this power makes other people want to spend more time around you. We gravitate toward those who make us feel like life is one big enjoyable adventure. These people are like breaths of fresh air in the most polluted time in human history. Have fun, Aluxer, make memories, and don't take yourself too seriously. Speaking more than two languages. What if other people saw more colors than you, heard more sounds, knew of more flavors, had access to more insights, knowledge, stories, music, and human interaction than you did? You'd feel a little bit less, wouldn't you? Have you ever been in a group of friends traveling abroad and one of you speaks the local language? Immediately everyone else in the group feels dumb and the person speaking the language is now the vibes shaman of the group. The man with one eye is king in the land of the blind, right? You are a tourist in their world. Sure, it's enjoyable looking in through the glass, but it doesn't compare to what it's like being in the field. And it's not that much about intellect as it is about the functionality of it all. What you're impressed by is the usefulness of it. Self-made, building something bigger than yourself. Money on its own isn't that impressive, but seeing how someone made themselves rich is. The process is way more impressive than the outcome. Everyone who says they could be rich if they wanted to should do it. Anyone who says they could have a six pack should do it. Declaring the goal is free. Having a goal isn't something worthy of respect unless you're in the pursuit of it, unless you can see the struggle, the effort, and the sacrifice you are making to achieve it. Doing it on your own is the hardest thing you'll ever have to do because for the first three quarters of the journey, you're not sure if this is going to work, that the goal will be achieved. 
You will doubt yourself, you will doubt your actions, other people will seed those doubts into you, and the little voice inside of your head will tell you to give up. That's why self-made success is so impressive, because you've overcome all of those things. If you're serious about it and you want to do this yourself, start your personal transformation by going to alux.com app. We are not selling you an app, okay? You are getting clear thinking. 15 minutes of predictable value delivered daily. A value bank of knowledge built for you by yourself in the journal. Aha moments on demand, shortcuts to life from international experts, and the feeling that you are not alone in all of this. We just happen to ship you all of that through an app. The proof is in the hundreds of thousands of people who use it, and their life is measurably better because of it. alux.com slash app. Publishing a book or more. It used to be that graduating from a top university was impressive, and in some circles, it still is. But there is a shift happening in society where we slowly stop caring about the degree and we care more about how well you're doing in life. What's the point of winning in academia if you're miserable? What's the point of getting a gold star if you no longer gaze at the stars in the hopes to reach them? Publishing a book or any form of art that will outlast you is something that most people say they can do, but never will. Society is split between people who say they can do something and people who are willing to do something. Putting it out there is the impressive part, knowing that if they wanted to, future generations might have a glimpse of who you were and what you stood for. Having cool friends and being able to make friends easily. Do you want to know the secret to having cool friends? Well, the answer? Be cool yourself. Do cool shit, and while you're at it, you will meet people along the way. Since you're both doing cool shit, you become friends. The saying, you are the average of the five people you hang out with most, works in your favor if your friends are cool or have any amount of fame, because it elevates you in the eyes of everyone else. Name dropping is whack, okay, but actually being friends with cool people is something everyone aspires to. We need that clout for social validation, because it makes us look cooler than we are in the eyes of everyone else that we want to impress. Most people struggle to make new friends, because making new friends is a real skill, and real skills are hard to come by these days. But more on that in a second. You're probably still hanging out with the same two friends you made in high school, and deep down you wish you would do more interesting things instead of going to the same pub, doing the same thing over and over again, and calling it tradition. Being able to fix things on your own. Throwing money at a problem to solve it will always be less impressive than someone who can solve it themselves no matter what the problem is. Mastering the tools to fix your environment is not just about repair, it's a declaration of independence and a direct influence on your destiny. We live in a time where people lack the most basic hard skills. You have to call someone, wait for them to order a missing part, pay a premium on everything, and make up a justification about why you didn't just fix it yourself. No matter how much you try to justify it, what you're feeling inside is the truth. And this applies to both fixing an electrical socket in your house and dealing with a coworker situation. We'll leave it at that. A body they'd want for themselves. Proportional height is a given, despite you not having much to do about that one. Taller men earn more, have sex more often, and even if you control for education or income, they're still more likely to be in positions of power. The same is true for women who are fit, healthy, and active. A strong body follows. You can't buy a good physique no matter how much Ozempic you take. It requires time and effort. Sure, you could get implants, but you can quickly tell that one is not like the other, especially if neglected. To the masses, getting a dream body is more impressive than playing an instrument well. Your understanding of art, history, geography, and culture. When did becoming ignorant become the norm? Intelligence is not about what you memorize, but how you piece information together in a way that is useful to you. The more you understand the world, the better decisions you're able to make. The better decisions you make, the higher return you get from life. If your life sucks, it's because you lack a basic understanding of how the world works, and you should fix that ASAP. Understanding anything beyond the surface gives you an edge over everyone else. Rich people have been making money for centuries, while poor people looked at them confused. 
Art is a great example of this. While most people look at modern art as something a child could have drawn, rich people look at it as an investment class that has competed with the American stock market for over two decades, laughing all their way to the bank. And the growth of this sector as a whole is not stopping. Over 60% of high-powered wealth managers have integrated art investing into their offerings. Deloitte's latest projections have the market growing to $2.8 trillion by 2026. That's a 31% increase in less than two years. Once you start going down the rabbit hole, you begin to understand the significance and the appeal of scarcity. Some of these pieces never go on sale. Look, Picasso isn't making any more paintings, so the ones that are already around are only becoming more and more valuable. The thing is, you don't need to be a millionaire to invest in art. Our sponsors at Masterworks are offering you shares of fine art. From Picasso, Basquiat, and names like Cause and Banksy, you can invest in them from the comfort of your own home. Every painting Masterworks has sold to date has delivered a positive return to their investors. They've been pulling in net returns like 14.6%, 17.8%, 21.5%, and even more. And that's why over 900,000 users have jumped on board. If you go to masterworks.art slash alux right now, you can skip the waitlist and start investing in art today. Almost 1 million people invest in art through them. That's masterworks.art slash alux or simply click the link in the description. How impressed will everyone around you be when you are making money from art? When other people know your name and give you preferential service. Getting the VIP treatment doesn't require you to be a VIP. Just know the right people in the right context. If you show loyalty to certain establishments, they will return the favor. You'll be treated differently from everyone else. It elevates the experience. Always conduct your business meetings at the same restaurant. Tip well and they'll remember you. Very soon, they'll be saying things like, Welcome back, Mr. or Miss. We've kept your table for you. Will you be having your usual? You'll ask about their family and laugh at their jokes. It's not the status that people envy here, although that is a part of it, but the feeling of belonging. Most people don't even say hi to their neighbors anymore. Life is isolated when it shouldn't be. We crave connection, and this is why they'll be impressed by it. Going the extra mile without being asked to. When you go the extra mile to show you care about the relationship, you show you care about how other people see and remember you. It means you start to stand for something beyond the status quo, the bare minimum required. The moment you go the extra mile without being asked, you immediately stand out from the crowd. It's something about the identity of the individual. Here's the last paragraph from a company email that we sent out earlier this week. Because why the hell else would you even want to be alive but to do things as well as you can? This is why, if you scroll down, you can see us replying to comments. That ain't no bot, okay? It's our CEO making sure everyone who took the time to comment on this video gets a better experience. Try it out. Saying what you're gonna do before you do it, and then actually doing it. Think of a cool pool trick shot. Telling them ahead of time you're about to do that removes the element of luck or sheer chance from the conversation. Remember this, doing something is less impressive than saying you're going to do something and then following through. You can tell a lot about who somebody is if they're able to follow through on what they shout out into the ether. Too many people said they were going to do something, but we've never seen a visual of the implementation. A happy and solid family. As far as we know and experience, there's no better feeling in the world than coming home and having your children race up and jump into your arms playing with them, hugging your partner, laughing together as a family. It doesn't matter how bad of a day you've had, your happiness jumps back up to 100 instantly as your brain recalibrates to what is actually important. Everyone is after happiness and peace. A happy family gives you that. You feel safe, you feel secure, you feel blessed, you feel lucky, you feel like you won because you have. And if you were to make a full list of the things people want to achieve in life, we bet you most of these would make it all the way to the top. And there's one more thing that would probably be at the very top of said list, and that is free time without the burden and anxiety. 
freedom, Aluxer. The freedom to live without the shackles of necessity. How great would it be to go through life as you please? To read, to write, to travel, to talk, to make things that you want to make or not have to do anything at all. A golden rule here, the only reason to work extremely hard today is to not have to work tomorrow. Never forget this. Some of the richest people in the world get caught up in the trap of more. They forget the golden rule and end up regretting it. There is a sweet spot in life, Aluxer, and we hope you find it. Now, what would you add to this list? Add your input in the comments. We always love to read what you have to say. And as for those of you still watching to the end, we saved a bonus for you, and today it's a story. The Banker and the Fisherman. So, an investment banker was at the pier of a small coastal village when a small boat with just one fisherman docked. Inside that small boat, there were several large tuna. The banker complimented the fisherman on the quality of his fish and asked him how long it would take him to catch them. He replied, only a little while. Curious, he then asked why he didn't stay out longer and catch more fish. Well, the fisherman said he had enough to support his family's needs, so he didn't need any more. But what do you do with the rest of your time? The banker asked. The fisherman said, I sleep late, I fish a little, I play with my children, I take siestas with my wife. I stroll into the village each evening where I sip wine and play guitar with my friends. I have a full and busy life. The banker scoffed. I'm a Harvard MBA and I can help you. Hear me out. You should spend more time fishing and with the proceeds, buy a bigger boat. With the proceeds from the bigger boat, you could buy several boats. Eventually, you would have a fleet of fishing boats. Instead of selling your catch to the middleman, you would sell directly to the processor, eventually opening up your own cannery. You would control the product, processing, and distribution. You would need to leave this small coastal fishing village and move up to the big city, maybe even come to New York or London where you would run your expanding enterprise. The fisherman asked, but how long would this take? To which the banker replied, ah, 15 to 20 years. But then what? Asked the fisherman. The banker laughed and said, oh, that's the best part. When the time is right, you would announce an IPO and sell your company stock to the public and become very rich. You would make millions. Millions, you say. Then what? The banker said, you would then retire, move to a small coastal fishing village where you would sleep late, fish a little bit, play with your kids, take siestas with your wife, stroll into the village in the evenings where you could sip wine and play your guitar with your amigos. You know, some of you might remember this story because we told it over two years ago, but it was an appropriate time to retell it now. You don't need to trade 10, 20, 30 years of your life to get something that might already be available to you right now, only to impress some other people that you couldn't care less about. If the only person you're trying to impress is yourself, write the word me in the comments. If you're already there, congratulations, my friend. If you're not there yet, we hope you'll get there soon, Aluxer.